It's Thursday, May 11th, and in case you missed it, artificial intelligence is a big deal these days, with every app and gadget maker looking to pack ever more smarts into their products. Typically, researchers working on artificial intelligence make it smarter by using what's known as machine learning. And since that usually involves computers, teaching computers, as it were, the faster your computer is, the better. However, one specific kind of computer, the high-powered GPU, or graphics processing unit, which originally was developed in response to demands for high-end graphics in video games, seems especially well-suited to machine learning. And there's no bigger name in the GPU game than NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA is putting more focus on making products specifically for AI, and they've just introduced a new machine learning-specific GPU called the Tesla V100. Let's just say right now that the V100 is huge. It's very, very expensive, and it's not for gamers. It's for data centers and AI workouts. But take heart, this kind of stuff tends to trickle down quickly, and we'll definitely see a gaming GPU based on the new tech sooner than later. You can read more about NVIDIA's GPUs, AI, and machine learning at the link. If the word keylogging doesn't strike fear in your heart, well, it should. And now a security firm says they've discovered a keylogging program on some HP computers. A keylogging program does just that. It records every keystroke you make on your computer and stores it. If a hacker or malware program gets a hold of the file, they can use it to suss out passwords, private information, logins, and much more. Swiss cybersecurity firm Mod Zero says they found a keylogging program inside an audio driver of all things on numerous HP laptops, including the new Folio G1, EliteBook, ProBook, and ZBook models. We've got a link to a complete list of affected PCs, and there's a fix to removing the keylogging program also at the link. It's iPhone 8 rumor roundup time again, and this time it's not so much what the phone will be like, but when it'll arrive and how many there will be. According to a post on BGR, reliable Apple secret leaker OnLeaks says the new top-of-the-line iPhone, whatever it ends up being called, will indeed be ready to be revealed and shipped in September, despite rumors the phone was being delayed due to technical issues. How many phones will be available is another issue altogether, of course. Meanwhile, Forbes is saying their sources are saying Apple may introduce four new iPhones this September, not three. The fourth phone? A revamp of the surprise hit iPhone SE, which will be called the SE2 or SE Series 2. And it won't look like the current SE, which retains the Steve Edition design with sharp edges and a small screen. No, the next SE will be smaller than the iPhone 7S or 8, but according to Forbes, those old edges will be rounded down to better match the form factor of the rest of the line. Again, it's all rumors and speculation until Tim Cook takes the stage just five short months from now. Have a great summer. That's it for DT Daily Today. Get more tech news updates on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. And be sure to check out our Roundtable podcast, Trends with Benefits, airing live at 2.30 p.m. today. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back again tomorrow.